Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. This has got to be one of the best RVs that we have on the lot currently. Uh, this is a 2023 New Marmentana and this is one of my absolutely most favorite floor plans. Oh, hey Jody, come on in. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live from Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Please feel free to reach out to me at 303-562-8659 or you can go ahead and send me an email. We come to you five days a week with these fantastic RV videos, but today's video is really special because this is a fantastic 2023 offering. So what I've done is I've opened up all the cabinets so that Jody can go ahead and take a look at all of this room without us having to fuss with doors. So first of all, on the right hand side here, you'll see we have a huge long storage closet with a ton of overhead space, a great drawer down below, also the optional safe, which is a great place to keep all of your diamonds, all of your guns. And then here you'll note that we have the teak bench inside of this 35 inch radius shower. And the reason I'm starting in here is I think that there's a lot of speculation that this is not a roomy shower. This is a really roomy shower. You can shave your legs, you can wash your feet. You've got a wand uh, up here. As you can see, we've got this coach winterized and to prevent this from dripping all over me this morning, we did put some plastic bags up, but we can dewinterize this coach for you when you come to pick it up. So you've got the, your wand is on a slide here so you can adjust the height. You also have your overhead, a great place to keep your toothbrush, toothpaste, and all of your um, so you know shampoo, conditioner. And then as you'll see here, we have this recycle feature. This is the Aquamizer system. What's really interesting about this is after doing um, a pretty good amount of boondocking in my last trip in my Superstar, which is the equivalent to this Ventana, um, I was able to really kind of delineate how much savings I would have in terms of water. And it's pretty fantastic to be able to heat up all of your water in advance of getting into your shower and have that 105 gallons of hot water ready for you on the fly because you've preheated it with your aquamizer system instead of having it go into your gray water tank. So it's actually a really great savings. Um, now, as you can see here, great drawer storage here with these upper drawers and another great drawer down here. Tons of room for your towels and linens, a really nice deep pocket here on your, uh, on your, uh, Vanity. <laughs> Thanks, Jody. It's a Monday, folks. Um, so another nice, great pocket on your vanity. And one of the benefits of that, of course, is if you've got like, you know, your power toothbrush and your Kleenex box, all those things, just nice to have a little extra space. And then take a look at how much room you have here uh, up above. So this is not only just great room, you could put your, you know, uh, first aid kits, your hair dryer, everything that you need while you're in that stowable position going down the road right here in this vanity. And I always want to mention that I love this, this nice aluminum trim you have around these glass tiles. Numar does such a great job at their fit and finish. And then over here on the left, you have your stackable washer and dryer. So this is another great feature in this coach. Uh, you can bring so many less pairs of socks, underwear, jeans, shorts, all those things that you're using on the daily that if you're out for more than a week, you'd have to basically bring, I don't know, 10 pairs of socks. Here you can just bring that regular four or five pairs of socks, do laundry every few days. And honestly, it takes so little water to do uh, your laundry in this coach. You could actually do four full loads of laundry on your gray water capacity. Now your gray water capacity is gonna be 60 gallons. Your black water is gonna be 40. Your fresh water, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be 105 gallons. And this is an all electric coach. So that's an option in the 2023 Ventana, but this coach has that option. Um, you'll also note that you have a really nice egress door here. And I just wanted to show that you do have really handy blinds that can cover very easily all of your uh, windows. So if you want some privacy, you'll also note that we do have the shade deployed outside, but if you wanted to be able to, after your trip, just drop your linens outside. You can open this door very easily to drop out any of your laundry or your linens. And then you could also use this as an escape hatch 
if for some reason there was a fire inside of this coach. So I'm gonna trade places with Jody really quick so he can just take a nice pan around this really spacious, very comfortable rear bath. You'll note that there is a fantastic fan in there as well. And then when you come back here into the bedroom, I'm going to go ahead and have this uh, mattress lifted up so I can show you some other features in this king size suite. So when I say a king size suite, one of the things that Numar does really well, and it's very different than most coaches in the marketplace, is this full wall slide. So you'll notice here, this full wall slide where you see the carpet, First of all, the carpet delineates that this is a Ventana. So this is an electric slide as opposed to a hydraulic slide, but it comes all the way out down the entire length of this coach. This is such a roomy coach. And then over here on the, on the passenger side where the wall comes out, you'll see we have another huge amount of space on either the left and right side of this bed. And there's also two 110 outlets as well as two USB ports and a great place if you wanted to be able to keep um, you know, any kind of uh, breathing device. If you've got anything that you'd like to store down below as well, I've actually seen people who keep their hiking boots down there, but lots of room. And what's so nice about this, now keep in mind this little center, uh, this little mattress pad here, this is for your convertible dinette. So we'll see that in a few minutes, but you have so much storage underneath. But most importantly, what you have here is if you're getting up at night, you have a bathroom in the rear with a toilet, you have a bathroom in the front with a toilet. So if you can imagine all of these slides closed, if you did wanna do an overnight stop where you didn't put your slides out, you could have access to the front and rear toilets from either side of this coach. But when you don't have uh, your slides in and you have your slides out, you have this huge amount of space in this bedroom. And also, so this toffee glazed maple, these are hardwood cabinets. Um, they're not, there's no particle board. This is a nice hardwood cabinet. This is a high gloss toffee maple finish. It's a beautiful light honey rose color uh, finish. It just really accentuates um, all of the high quality woodwork that you find here. And when I show you this woodwork, one of the things I really like about these is that these are removable. So you can clean the mirroring behind this. And keep in mind, this is the last model year where you're going to be able to have this kind of Fendi flair. We've changed our look in 2024. Um, but as you can see, tons of space up above. You've got grommets down below. You also have your reading lights right here. And there's also some controls here, right here. But one of the things that's really interesting about your coach is that this coach in 2023 uh, changed a lot of things under the skirt, as I'd like to say. So instead of only having an ability to turn all of your lights off from the click of a button right here under this panel, you also have the ability to turn all of your lights on and off with a panel that interacts with your phone. So you can actually come here to this center panel. This is this new 10 inch monitor is a big change for 2023. Uh, you can control all of your lights. You can pair this to your phone so you can do it on your phone as well. You can control your, high, your uh, HVAC system. So both you're gonna have um, cool for your air conditioners. You've got two 15,000 BTU ACs. You also have auto mode. You'll note you have heat pumps. You also have a furnace system. This is running off of your Oasis, uh, your Oasis hydronic heat. And then uh, you also have just a plain fan mode, but you have that for the front and the rear of your coach. And all of this again can be controlled by your phone as well as the three zones for, for, for floor heat. So as you can see here, we have high, medium, low for the rear, we have for the mid and then for the front, three places where you can have floor heat in this coach. So you may want to do this and then go ahead and turn all of your mid off and then turn it on warm in the back so that your bedroom's staying nice and cool, but the rear and the front are warm for your toesies when you get up to make coffee and don't have your slippers on, just giving you that nice cool bedroom. And then also you can see that we're running our generator right now. You can see what kind of charge we have, um, how, long we, how long we can go um, with our charge. And then you can also see here, we have fresh gray and black water. And you'll note that on, in this position here, you would normally have that 20 gallon propane tank, but because this is an all electric coach, you don't need to have propane on it um, because you can use your hydronic heat as your furnace as opposed to having to do that. And then of course we have an induction cooktop. Um, so back to that hydronic heat. Um, so first of all, this is a really nice feature. This beautiful cover here 
is hiding all of your duct work. So you've got a centrally ducted coach, right? So you've got really nice returns hidden up here and you can e very easily drop this down and access and change out your own filters. But your hydronic heat is gonna be coming out of these little vents that you see down here. So on a cold, cold night, one of the things that's different about Numar versus a lot of other manufacturers is that not only do you have hydronic heat in the living area of the RV, you also have hydronic heat in the base storage of your RV. So if there's anything that you wanna keep from freezing, like your black and gray water tanks, that's great. You can actually set that zone temperature so that you will not have to worry about things freezing underneath the bay. Now, in addition to this huge area to sleep in in your living room or in your bedroom, you also have this great dressing area. So you already saw the long storage that we had in the back. We have these two great wardrobes. We also have our Samsung Smart TV. Uh, one of the nice things about this coach is this does have the higher end a Wi-Fi system that has two SIM cards and we can also put Starlink on top of this. So if you want star if you want cellular based Wi-Fi and data control, this coach is pre-wired for it. We can also put satellite based uh, wireless on here. So you do not need to have a uh, dish or direct TV satellite when you have these televisions because these are smart TVs. You can watch Hulu, Netflix, all of those different things. Fubo, if you're really into sports, uh, all on your smart TVs. And that's a really nice feature. This is one of four TVs in this unit. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is this drawer quality. So I love the fact that Numar makes these full extension drawers so they're still really easy to get into even though this wardrobe is here. And you'll have five of these drawers the two on the outside are in this on the left and on the right so i guess i should say three are a little bit larger but even this small drawer has plenty of room here and you have this really nice dresser area and one of the things i really found that i enjoyed in my rv when we were done in southern california is my ability to actually use uh, this window here so this is a great place to be able to get fresh air in here so not only is it an emergency exit window of course, you got that egress there in the back, but also you're going to be able to get fresh air circulating into this bedroom, even when you have both the pockets door clo pocket doors closed. Um, so anyone who's tuning in uh, today knows that last week I made my video on a Tuesday. Um, I really thought that Mondays threw me off, but Tuesdays are even harder. Uh, so you know, as you walk through and you see all of these videos, I want you to know that you can find certain people on certain days of the week. I'm a Monday person. Uh, you'll find my friends Mark and Teresa on Tuesdays. Uh, you'll find AC and Taylor Dean a lot of times on Wednesdays. Thursdays, you have got Bill RV Hurtado, who is just a tech spec, amazing, amazing man. And then one of my favorite video guys is going to be Grant Russell. And you'll find him on Friday. So lots of cool people to tune in if you're looking for informative videos. All of us have a little bit more to offer. I tend to be a little bit more in detail. My goal is to help you make a buying decision. And if this coach is not right for you, please feel free to reach out to me. We've got a ton of great RVs and in inventory, but hopefully these videos will allow you to figure out what might be the right video for you, the right video, the right RV. So as you can see right now, I'm bringing this slide in. So as I bring in this bedroom slide, there's a few things to note about this. So first and foremost, you can see we'll still have room, even if we had our sidewalk side slide closed to get in and around this coach, which is nice if you're trying to load up before a trip and you can't put out um, both sides of your slides, this still gives you enough room to get in and out of the coach. The other thing I wanna point out is the smoked mirror above the chair rail. So this is a really nice feature on this coach. And as much as we uh, sell uh, a lot of great products here, you know, between, you know, Emerald Level Prevos, uh, our Renegade products, our Numar products, all of these coaches, one of the things I've learned in watching what comes in on trade is that not all coaches are built the same. And one of the most important features I can tell you about on this coach is the construction. But little things like that high chair rail, smoke to mirror, uh, the nice solid maple uh, cabinetry that you see throughout the coach, the speakers in the rear bedroom, the KIB panels, the center touch display, all of those things are indicating to you the level and quality of a Numar. And the level and quality of a Numar is unlike that of any other. 
Um, but one of the things I love most about this floor plan is how open it is. So first of all, one of the reasons that is is because here in the center of this coach, you have, instead of in my coach, I have a bunk area. In this coach, you have a desk. And this is just fantastic. For anybody who is looking to either work on the road uh, or just be full time that wants to have, you know, a little office area and nook set up, you have so much additional storage space with this center area. And you even have a filing cabinet, a place to keep all of your notepads, pens, papers. Maybe you're a big postcard writer or you like to use stationery. Um, and then as you can see, we get this extra chair. Now, normally this would come with a booth dinette that's extendable, but in this RV, this RV is really made for somebody who might wanna have their kids meet them somewhere like, up in, you know, maybe Connecticut or down in Florida. Uh, you've got enough room, not only for the littles, but also for uh, some adults. But as you can see here, we have our little 110 outlets underneath. We also have a grommet that feeds up here. So if you did want to keep a monitor here and again, power sources, if you're working full time, you can do that in this coach. Now it's not necessary, right? So you don't have to work from this coach. It could just be additional space that you're using that while you're on the road. But one of the things that the 4068 boasts, you know, beyond being a bath and a half unit, all hydronic, a passive tag axle, 400 horsepower, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque, that 8.9 Cummins on the all-new Freightliner chassis, which did change pretty significantly in 2023. Um, this coach is so open. So, Jody, I'm going to have you just step back here real quick. I have everything deployed here. So, um, it was kind of funny. I came in this morning and Jody was like closing all the cabinets that I'd opened, but I wanted to show this off. Like, if you're really living here, it is so amazing how much, like you could lay down on this couch and take a nap. You could put your feet up on this ottomans. You could have your chips and dip out. You could have your recliners up. I mean, you could really entertain a ton of people. And this is such a big open space. And what's nice about this is if you did want to retire early and let the kids stay up and maybe play, you know, I don't know, uh, rummy or whatever you're doing, they also have their own restroom. So this is a bath and a half model. So not only do you have all of this huge living space, you also have the accommodations that allow someone to be using this office while perhaps someone else is in the back taking a shower. Um, and on top of it, storage is just so abundant in this coach. So Jody's panning over and showing you some of these cabinets right now. I'm gonna come in and open them back up for you. But this is so much room for towels and for additional toiletries. You also have this really beautiful raised uh, glass vessel sink here in the, the center of the coach, giving you all that much more room. And of course, those beautiful glass back tiles. And then again, so much space. So you could keep all of your cleaning supplies here in the center bath and all of your towels and linens in here as well. And then we do have the brains of the operation here where we have our uh, power control system. We also have some more 110 outlets and then access to all of your fuses. So if you're looking for your breaker box, it's really easy to get to. It's very well labeled. Once again, very indicative of the quality of a Numar. Numar does such a great job. Now, another interesting aspect of this coach is this pivoting door. The reason that this door pivots is so that you would have access while you're going down the road to the restroom. So not only is this coach going to be great for people who are traveling, you know, with just one or two people, but if you have the littles with you and they need to be able to access the potty, they don't have to do the military uh, crawl over the, the bed into the rear potty. They can access it right here because you know, dirty little feet. Um, that being said, if you wanted to do the military crawl, one of the things I like about this coach, which is different from mine, is that because of the location of that washer and dryer, you can get all of your laundry done while you're going down the road. But one of the best aspects of this 4068 is look at all of this space. Now these are adjustable uh, shelves. So if you have a rice cooker, a toaster oven, um, you don't need an air fryer. We already have that in our, uh, in our microwave as an air dryer. But all of that said, if you wanna keep a ton of absolutely huge appliances in your RV, 
which I mean, I have a big toaster oven for my bagels. We like to eat bagels when we're on the road. We like to eat rice when we're on the road. It's a very good staple. It goes with a lot of meals. You can store it for a long time. All of those things fit here and they're not taking up your pantry space because here you have these push to release doors also in your pantry. So you have so much storage and these are wide pantry drawers. So all of your cereal, all of your stuff, so if you wanna bring flour and sugar and you wanna make cookies and things along those lines, you've got more than enough room to do this uh, in this coach. You even have room for all of your mixing bowls, you know, things that you just don't normally have space for. Now, I love, this is our Whirlpool, wash, our Whirlpool washer and dryer. It was a Splendid washer and dryer in the rear. It's a Whirlpool uh, refrigerator. This is a 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. Um, I love the little adjustable shelves, the meat and cheese drawer. I like the big pockets on the side. This one actually pivots. So if you've got like a big thing of milk or something like that, you can keep it there at a tilt. And then as you can see, we have the water filter for your ice dispenser here and also for your ice maker down below. And there's a ton of storage in this fridge. So again, just one of my favorite aspects of this coach is not only how open and airy it is, but when you walk in this RV, you feel like you're in a really big RV. Um, and you're not, you're in a coach that's only 40 feet, 10 inches long. Um, dual basin, stainless steel undermount sink. Jody, you took off my cover. Jody took off my winterizer cover. I love, so the fountain location. So I don't know if anyone's familiar with this, but uh, Trans West Truck Trail RV has four RV dealerships. Um, and one of the locations we have is Fountain. It's here in Colorado. We also have a Grand Junction location here in Colorado. And then we also have what we call our Kansas store, although it is in Belton, Missouri. So we've got a lot of different places where you can pick up your RV. Um, this one, of course, is my favorite because we have Wade Phoenix, who does a fantastic orientation for anybody who's looking. Did I show that again? The scrubby drawer. Let's just one more time. Oh, my favorite thing. I mean, seriously, folks, like what a great place to keep your sponges, your bottle brushes, all that stuff. I did put one of the sink covers underneath just to give you an idea as to how big that space is down below. I mean, we already had a place to put all of our cleaning supplies. I guess you just put a small child down there. No, I'm just kidding. Don't put your kids under the sink. You'll probably get in trouble. Um, I don't know what this drawer is for. Shot glasses. This is where you keep all of the jello shot glasses, Jody. No, don't don't do don't do jello shots with your kids in the under the sink. You'll really get in trouble. Okay, I'm gonna put this back down on top. Uh, this is a spray and pour faucet. Really nice residential hardware in this coach. Like even carbon fiber drawer poles and handles. I mean, how cool is that? And what's so cool about this is see how they're notched? You could hang a towel on here. There's all these like little places where you could hang your, your dish towels. I think that that's so underrated. And then this tall storage here, you can keep your balsamic and your olive oil. Up here, you could keep so much stuff that you could actually reach to in the back. So if you wanna keep your pots and pans up here, all of your plates. I keep my plates in cutlery. Um, I keep my cutlery in the top drawer here, uh, but I keep my plates underneath uh, the pullout on the, on the booth dinette. I'll show you that to you in a second. So as you can see here, we talked about this earlier, four remotes. Uh, for your Samsung televisions. Also, you've got a remote for your um, for your awning outside. You've got two remotes for these Bose sound systems because there's one both inside and one outside as well. And then you also have your uh, extra paint here. So this is the Remy exterior paint. So when you see the full graphics on this, it's a very beautiful neutral colored exterior called Remy. And then this is the Gotham interior decor. And the way that you know that is it has the owl pillow. Um, I really love the owl pillow. If you buy this RV from me, I'll give you an extra discount if you will part with your owl pillow because I would like to have an owl pillow. Um, I would also like to have this, which I don't have. What a cool place to keep all of your spices this is of course located right above your cooking area, which is so vast and so ample. Now, first and foremost, this induction cooktop, no kidding, is completely removable. I use this outside all the time when I'm camping. It is one of my favorite features of my coach. I can have one kind of pan uh, that I don't have to worry about getting all yucky because it's over an open flame. I can use my copper core all clad pans, both inside and outside of the coach. Um, and then you also have your cutting boards on the back of both of your covers. But look at all of this prep space that you have in this coach. So there is so much room to prep. And as you can see, you could have your toaster oven plugged here. 
There's two outlets, right? So you could also have your coffee pot plugged in over here. You can have all of your spatulas, all of your mixing supplies. And then you have this beautiful, I kept this, I wanted to cover this because it was so bright in here this morning. Um, but as you can see, we've got the additional optional kitchen window. So of course this is gonna be great for ventilation if you are cooking. And then all of this cabinet space. I mean, honestly folks, this feels like a 45 foot coach from the inside. Now you'll note that we also have the dishwasher on so I can open this important or the dishwasher on so I can open this, the generator. So you have to either be plugged into 50 amp or you have to have the generator on to be able to operate your wash your dishwasher. Um, this is a Fisher Pagel dishwasher. You're going to find this offering in anything from Essex all the way down to Baystar. So wherever you have a dishwasher in any of the RV lines, this Fisher Pagel is the go to. And I'll tell you what. If you want to know something really funny, I thought I would save save water, gray water capacity by hand washing dishes. I use 5% of my 60 gallon gray water tank and using this dishwasher and I can get three full meals in this dishwasher. So I actually save gray water while boondocking for not hand washing dishes. How amazing is that? I just love that. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, great place for guacamole, chips and dip. Maybe your cheese plate, if you've got, you know, littles out, you could put your goldfish bowl up there. Um, but there's also storage here. And there's also storage here. So lots and lots of extra room. And then when I close this up, again, it's just amazing how much extra space you have in this, co this coach. Now, I do keep all of our blankets in here. And so this will, ho this will hold a very uh, sizable blanket. Um, I think that that's a really nice feature. I also keep the remotes there. We're going to slide these forward. Um, so as you saw earlier, I did deploy this recliner. I don't show these often enough in uh, our RV videos, but what's nice about this, I get a lot of people who want theater seats. If you want theater seats, you have in essence your theater seat right here. You have everything that you need to make this a comfortable, oh, there's my little a comfortable recliner, including the power recliner here. So you don't need to have the theater seat option in this coach to have theater seats. You can have not only your theater seat, if you will, so your recliner, so you can sit back and watch TV, but you can also have this great hide -a bed So this is where the rubber meets the road. When you have people who might want to join you for camping trips, I understand it may not be all of the time, but one of the things that's really important, especially with littles, is that for them to be comfortable um, and for the kids and the parents both to have comfortable accommodations. So what's so neat about this particular floor plan is in the 4068, I can actually have two adults, two adults, and then one or two littles here. I would say one would be the most comfortable setting, but even if I had an extra, I could definitely put an air mattress down still, even the, and using this bed and this bed, I'd still have enough room for another air mattress. Um, but this is such a cool layout. And the reason I take the time to show these things to you is because if I don't, you just call me and tell me, hey, Katie, can you FaceTime me and, and show me how this works in a video? Uh, and, I, and I'm, of course, I'm always happy. I do a lot of FaceTime. Um, you know, for clients that have little questions, but I will always include, encourage you to make the trip out to visit us. Uh, we are located just about 25 to 30 minutes uh, outside of, of Denver, Denver International Airport, so we're really easy to get to. And I just did some research. It turns out Denver International Airport is the second largest airport in the entire world, which is pretty amazing, which means there's almost always gonna be a convenient flight for you to come out and visit. Look at this bed though. So this I can convert as you saw, remember that little insert we had under the bed? So this can be a bed. This can be a bed. You still have walking room. You still have like get up and make coffee room, make the kids breakfast room. I mean, you have access to your pantry, to your refrigerator. I mean, this is incredible. This is such a great floor plan. By far one of my favorite floor plans. A one forward facing seatbelt in the booth three here, two here. So that's two, five, six seat belts. Very easily take the whole family camping with you or just don't let them see this video because then they'll wanna come. Um, so I love this. Whoop. Really easy to put away. 
Just see, you guys can't see this, but Jody is constantly laughing at me. <laughs> he just doesn't make any noise. He just laughs at me the whole time. But uh, yeah, it's okay. No one was injured in the making of this video. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, this is a cool, cool setup. Um, another thing I really like about this, and you can see it before I put the cushions in, what's always missing on a couch? A place to keep your chips and dip. A hard surface, nothing flexible like you have in between those two theater seats. Nice hard surface to keep something so it doesn't tip over and spill. Nice place to keep your margarita. Um, you know, just very, very cool layout on this coach. And super easy to reassemble. And by the way, um, this villa furniture is really comfortable. Super, super puffy. It's soft. Um, it is, it's firm but fair. No, it's, it's firm, but it's still soft. Um, and I think that that's important to talk about because in a lot of manufacturers, you don't get this comfort level fill of furniture like you do in the Ventana. Um, I will tell you right now, I bought myself a Superstar. I think it's the best value for a dollar on the parking lot. I think it's where you get all the good stuff. You get that, again, 8.9 liter Cummins engine, that Freightliner chassis, which has you know, brake sync, V-Ride. It's already auto wired for your, um, with brake sync for your tow vehicle. And there's so many cool features. And then to have three zone heated floors on this, also to have a passive tag axle, all of the room. I mean, it's just really, really great opportunity. Um, I will show these to you. As you can see, there is some pre-wiring going underneath these cabinets. But as you can imagine, Numar has a choice to make. They can either make them look weird and dinky or they can put these nice full drawers on or full covers on them so they, they look nice and robust. Everything in the back as well as the front is pre-wired for your Xbox or your Wii or whatever it is that you're going to use. Um, or if you want to have satellite receivers installed, we can absolutely do that. We do tend uh, these days not to put receivers on vehicles because of the fact you might want Dish, you might want Direct, you might want to have Starlink. So we don't really know which one you're gonna prefer. And on that note, we could actually just go ahead and install whatever it is that you like. So I've had a few clients grumbling about the fact that they've found coaches out there that don't have a satellite receiver on them. It's not because we don't want you to have one, it's because we'd like you to be able to choose your own. Um, if we have the wrong one in there, there's adapter kits that we can change. Uh, but we're always happy to install anything that you like in these RVs. Um, and on that note, we can always change out furniture too. Look at this storage. I know I keep saying look at this storage, but my God, look at this storage. I mean, Monopoly, Parcheesi, Cribbage, I mean, Scrabble, that bounce game, Yahtzee. I mean, you could have literally all of them in here. It's insane how much you have in terms of room. Uh, and then you have two 110 outlets on either side as well as two USB ports on either side. So if you've got a gaggle of kids and everyone's trying to charge their device, you could do that. Now, another thing that I want to talk about is you can see these little glowy KIB switches. So this is how I put the TV up and down. So I'm going to put the TV down, but when I do that, you'll see I can click on this little backlighting button and turn that off so you won't see the glow. Or if there's no one sleeping up here, I can go ahead and leave it on so that you do see the glow. So I love the fact that not only do you have the access panel in the center of the coach, which is of course a great place for it, you have access panels on your walls, so you can turn your lights on and off depending on what room you're in, or you can use your phone. And then I do have the TV down now, and the reason I did that is because I really wanted to show how much room you have um, you know, at this booth. This is a great place to sit down. Now, because of the fact that this is the convertible booth dinette, you can actually fit four people in here as opposed to two. When you've got that extendable dinette, it's really a little bit tight because it's kind of edged this way. But the other thing that's really nice about this is that it still has that kickback space. So if everyone's hanging out, you've got your recliners turned around, you've got some friends over here, maybe you're not watching television. Maybe you're actually having interpersonal communications with other adults. I know, shocking, but it can happen. So let's say that's happening and maybe you're having a tasty beverage and you've got some chips and dip here. You can all be very comfortable and in this great community space. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I really do like to keep all of my um, plates and bowls underneath. Um, the reason I do this is because when someone's cooking breakfast or doing whatever, if I want the kids to set the table, they can get their plates and bowls here. And then we've got our um, placemats and napkins on the other side. 
Um, as you can see here, you have a great place to keep, you know, a French press. Um, the TV cord should not be sticking out here, but that's okay. <laughs> it, it, it was, I saw it earlier and I tucked it in. I think we need to just maybe strap it down. But uh, you can see here, big window, once again, opening orifices. I love the way that these work on the Ventana because of the fact that if you want to, like, so when we were in San Diego, it was actually raining uh, quite often, uh, you know, like once or twice a day. And whenever it would rain, we could leave this open and get that beautiful ocean air coming through the coach without having water come in to the RV itself. So like that, um, I love these decorative wall sconces. So overall, I would give this interior like a 10 out of 10. This is one of my very, very favorite RVs. Um, and it also has, check it out, on both sides storage. So if you want to keep some books or, you know, um, reading materials that you might be looking through, you've got that there. I'm going to turn this around and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the other tech specs on this vehicle. Um, so first of all, power chairs, right? And you do have to wiggle waggle. Just so you know, this is a wiggle waggle. If you're going to be putting your chair around you have to kind of pivot back and forth to be able to get it into space but it's not hard at all so now I'm in okay so it'll lock so now it's locked into space and I can access my armrest both go up and down and then here underneath I can change the pitch of my steering wheel and it's telescopic so I got all of that stuff going for me um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about how this dash has changed. So one of the things that's really nice about this dash is, as you can see here, now you've got your def fluid as well as your fuel fluid all right here in the center console. You can see how fast you're going from a digital display. So that's a really, really nice feature. We also have this little guy here. This is called Mobileye. Uh, there's a lane departure warning system standard in this coach starting in 2023, which will buzz you in the tushy. Uh, you can turn it off, but I'll tell you, if you're going down a long road and you want to be able to, um, you know, you want to be able to uh, know if you start to get tunnel vision and you're drifting, it's a really cool thing to have. The other thing that's really nice about this coach is it's got comfort drive. So when we talk about the steering effort, this is an electronically uh, uh, held unit. So that's not the right way to say it. This steering column is electronically controlled to tag straight. Now where that's a big deal is this is a very large unaerodynamic brick hurtling through space. And when there is a strong gale force wind coming off of I-80, pushing you into that right lane, this coach is gonna track straight without you having to put that effort in. So that's a really, really big feature. Um, so comfort drive is a huge feature of this. Another great feature on this coach is the fact that you do have that, six, that 360 degree camera. So you can see behind us as well as the overhead view of the coach. And then you've got this big monitor here. But because we have two monitors, you can leave this on full time. So you've always got a rear monitor display and then you have access to all this other stuff. So you have access to your navigation system, which is gonna be nav and go. Uh, what's cool about this nav and go system is this has traffic interruption stand on it so you have to attach it to your Wi-Fi whatever you choose whether it be a cradle point system the one that comes in the coach Starlink whatever it is and then activate it you get three years of traffic interruption for free as well as weather on this NAV system love that feature it's a big big deal the other thing that's super nice about this is you've got your voice control for your phone and you've got your phone controls right here on the steering column so this is such a great thing this is very much like you would expect to see on your car you also have great cup holders, lots of nice privacy. Um, I do have the shades though. Take a look at how big this is. Oh, and by the way, here is our Numar brand specialist, Kaylee. She is fantastic. She specializes in Ventana. You can call this 800 number. It goes to an after hours phone. If it's not hers, it's somebody else who might be filling in for her on the weekend. Or you could email them at uh, Ventana service at Numar Corp. This gets you directly to somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, and then as you can see, premium auto offered to you by JBL. Numar spends quite a bit of time making sure that these coaches have good sound systems on them. And then you've got that Freightliner custom chassis support. Uh, Freightliner custom chassis is just a fantastic company. I'll tell you, uh, their 24 hour line, uh, I had a client the other day, I, don't, I think we were looking for where service centers would be in uh, the Montana region. 
And so I was like, oh, you know what? It's Saturday. Let's call the Freightliner custom chassis people and see who answers. And I'll tell you what, they answer 24 hours a day. They're like, oh yeah, you can go to this service center, or this service center. And if you go to this service center, I talked to so-and-so over here. I mean, it's really a fantastic service uh, that Freightliner provides to you with their 24 seven customer support. They just do a fantastic job. They've got a great app that tells you all sorts of tech specs that you can fix yourself. But I love the fact that they're reachable. Um, okay, so we have a great, you know, so you've got your headlamps, you've got your parking lights, uh, you've also got your dome lights, your house and chassis battery boost, so that if you do have like a low chassis battery and you need to, to be able to, to boost, you can use that button there. Left and right windows are mirror adjustments with, along with heat, that's what that little guy is for. Um, as you can see here, it says tag dump. So this is a tag axle coach, which is so nice because you're turning radius because of the passive tag load axle is so much smaller than that of a normal 40 foot RV. It makes a huge difference also in your towing capacity. This coach is a 15,000 pound towing capacity. Now you'll note, I don't have my air horn on and then I have my air horn on. So if you're in a parking lot and you wanna give someone like a little tap, you can do that. And if you're on the road and you see like, I don't know, like a deer crossing or you know, someone that really needs to get some attention. You've got that right there. Uh, so your equalizer, smart leveling jacks, of course, this is another great feature. There's an app for this on your phone. Uh, you, you, can, you can you know monitor and see where everything is. But one of the great as aspects of this is that this leveling jack will actually get your coach completely level in just a matter of minutes and all you have to do is hit auto level and it already has everything built into it so you don't need to you know manually adjust anything now i did mention that i had these shades down i just wanted to show um so this is the day shade as you can see so if you wanted to have an eyebrow on your coach uh, you could put that uh, full blackout shade up these are power shades they're in a track a guided track that's such a nice feature um, but look at how huge this window is there's so much visibility going down the fantastic freeways of our beautiful country seeing everything that we have to offer uh, everything to be grateful that we have here in the united states right in front of you i mean what a dream and then great drawer storage here you want to keep a bunch of sunglasses you could definitely you know a few pairs of Prada, some Maui gyms, all the room right there. And then this top drawer is a great place to keep your wallet, your cell phone, maybe any of those like fuel saver cards that you have. Um, and then as we saw earlier, you've got your visor shades, your overhead fans. I can start and stop my generator right here. Now, one of the benefits of having uh, a Ventana like this, so any 40 foot or longer uh, Ventana will have an 8.9 liter ISL Cummins that Cummins engine is housed in the rear of the coach, which means you can have your generator here in the front. So up front here, I have the generator on. And what's so nice about this is if I'm running my air conditioning on high, maybe I'm boondocking and I'm in the desert and I wanna keep it cool in my coach at night, I can do that and still get some good shut eye. So it's a really nice configuration. This is one of the reasons people like these diesel pushers so much. Of course, the other reason is that going down the road, you've got this beautiful, you know, big, you know, bulbous, you know, recliner that you're sitting in, making you so comfortable driving, such a great position to be in. Um, and as you saw earlier, it's got, you know, six way power adjustment. Um, it's a really, really nice, comfortable seat, but your engine's in the back. So you're gonna be able to have that conversation with your significant other. Um, or if you want, you can turn the generator on and turn the radio up so you don't have to talk. And I'm just kidding, we all know we love, there is nothing more fun than being in an RV with your family going down the road. I mean, honestly, what great times you can have. Um, so big TV up here. So again, this is another 43 inch. We have another, we have the 50 inch over here. Again, another smart TV. Um, all of your controls are up here right above the entrance door, which is so comfortable. Very easy to get in if you wanted to come in and bring your slides in. You can do that. Jody, you want to turn around and show them that slide coming in? Let's see if we can push these little ottomans out of the way. No, I'm going to go get them. So um, I don't know if any of you watch videos with Grant Russell in them, but Grant Russell, again, he's my Friday guy. He's fantastic. Um, he will get really upset if you put your ottomans on your couch with the peg legs down. So these are the peg legs. And so you always put your ottomans like this. Oh, and I don't know if I talked about this, but this is the puffy side. This is for putting your feet on. 
This is the sift side. This is for putting your beverages and your food on. So if you wanna have some extra eating accommodations, you have that here with your Ottomans. These are optional, they're not standard. So don't assume you're gonna get them, you may not get them. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's, keep, let's keep putting this slide in. So one of the things I like to show if I can, and I, I do, I mean, I'll tell you, we get a lot of people like, you didn't show this. Well, folks, we do a lot of videos. Sometimes, I know it sounds crazy, but we're not perfect when we forget stuff. But I do like to try to remember to show you the walking room. Because of course, this is important. Another nice feature I wanted to mention to you too is that you'll see, so first of all, this is a full paint finish, so you can see your beautiful paint color on the inside here. But we've got these self-locking slides, which means you don't have to put a slide lock in there. And this is actually gonna stay in place while you're going down the road. And then as you can see here, when we have um, this cutout, we're gonna have access all the way down here to be able to get to the bathroom even with our slide closed. So this is called the door side slide out. Again, these are all electric slides. And so you could make me a sandwich, you could microwave me a burrito, you could do just about anything you'd like to help me uh, get some nourishment while going down the road on that eight hour, nine hour long road drive, you know, road trip in between here. Uh, the one thing that's nice about our location, of course, is that we are centrally located, so we're pretty much close to anything in the United States. We do do a lot of sales out of market. Oh, look at, there's, hey, there's my delivery. Hi, guys. They, so <laughs> just a little bit about our deliveries here. Wade Phoenix does our, our orientations. These guys got done in record time, but we do allocate anywhere from one to you know six hours, however long it is that you need to study. And then after you've learned more about your coach, we bring your coach down and we park it over here in the campground um, so that you can get moved in. And then we like you to stay overnight just to make sure you've got your sea legs on. And if there's anything that's amiss, we can take care of it before you hit the road. We would much rather find out that your flush isn't flushing correctly or you've got a light bulb out while you're here at our store, and we have all the parts and the technicians here readily available, as opposed to finding out something doesn't work in the forest. So the fact that we have a 50 amp uh, availability or 30 amp for those of you who wanna do 30 amp, uh, like a single AC unit, like we have uh, Vera Cruises, for instance, we have 50 and 30 amp for everybody that wants to have their orientations done here. And then you can come and stay so you can make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to before you hit the road. And I just think that that's a fantastic service. But as you can see, plenty of room to cook here, access not only to the bathroom, but I could also uh, have had that chair tucked in nicely here. And then as I mentioned earlier, you would have to do the, the military crawl to be able to do your laundry, but you could do your laundry while going down on the road in this coach and if for some reason you wanted to be able to stay at a walmart or maybe at a harvest host and you weren't planning on putting your slides out and getting fully deployed both people in this king size bed are going to have access to a restroom which is a really really great feature so um again this is the 4068 ventana probably one of the best configurations that we have had in 2023 um, i had to ask them to bring this coach up from fountain um, because I've had a lot of people that were interested in it and I haven't had it in stock to show you. So I'm really pleased that Brian did that for us. Okay, so we just covered our slide outs. Of course, we've got our Magnum inverter down below. This is gonna tell us what we're using uh, in terms of all of our power, what we have left in terms of juice. Um, you'll see we have our four uh, solar panels here. This is 440 uh, watts of solar on top of the coach, already integrated. We've got our Oasis system. So as you can see right now, it's on burner heat. You have three elements, AC1, AC2, so that we can be both of those active at the same time, and then also your burner system. So what that means is as you are using hot water, if you want super hot water, you can turn your burner on, and that's gonna be running off of your 100 gallon diesel tank. If you just have, uh, like let's say you're at a fairly temperate climate, you can go ahead and just turn on AC1, and that should give you enough warm water to keep your, you know, to do your dishes and such, or even AC one and two. But if you want really hot water, you can go ahead and turn that burner system on. Or if you're boondocking and you don't want to use your, uh, you don't want to use your battery power, you can also just go directly off the burner system. 
Um, so here we've got our extra awning package. I do have the door cover awning out today as well as these other awnings. As, uh, and the only thing I'll say is I've been watching the wind sensor out there. There is definitely a, a little bit of a gust going, but these coaches do have what's called a bounce sensor on them. Oh no, that's still out. I was afraid that we might've lost one. Um, so what's really nice about these uh, awnings, so when you get this extra awning package, it's not inexpensive, but instead of going straight out, they actually pivot. So you'll see here, when they're pivoted, they're actually really helping to protect us from sun. So that's a really nice feature. Now, before we exit completely, I do wanna show the under stair storage that we have here on this Ventana. If you've got any kind of fine furry friends or just need a place to keep your tequila, you can definitely get a few bottles of Belvedere in that one. Um, that's a great feature. And then the other thing I'm gonna show you is a place where you can keep your cat. So if you're going down the road and you wanna put your cat somewhere, just put them right underneath in this little pocket. No, I'm just kidding. You don't keep your cat there. I think at one point in time, Brian Moritz said you could keep your ferret in there. Um, but no, in all seriously, it's just, it's nice to have a built-in step cover. Another feature I wanna cover right here is, you'll see we have our lock and unlock for all of our baggage doors right here next to our battery disconnect. This is for our house. I'll show you the chassis in the back. We have a wireless charging dock up here. We have a desk, right? So you can do that work going down the road and then some 110 outlets as well as USB ports and even a little nine volt. So if you wanted to plug in like your uh, inflatable uh, thing for your air mattress or for your, uh, for your paddle board, you could do that there. And then all of these have blackout shades as well. So super, super nice. Um, great place to keep baseball hats up here. Oh, you don't have to show it, Jody. He's so good. Poor Jody has to like chase me around. <laughs> and videotape everything I'm doing. So I found out, I thought that this cover went up so that you could actually like hand the beer over. It turns out it's so that you can see out the window when you're going down the road, uh, which I think is quite funny. Uh Oh, my delivery wants to know if I can talk to him yet. So let me go ahead and say, I'll call you later. All right. So, um, you've got a nice screen door here. Again, big dual pane windows, uh, on all of our coaches are going to be standard. You have both a deadbolt and a regular locking mechanism, and you can lock the, not deadbolt, just the regular locking mechanism over here through this touch control. I'm gonna turn that generator off. Let's go ahead and turn off that generator. There we go. Okay, so just so you know, um, I know it's quite impressive, but we had both the house and the chassis on. Um, so we had the generator running and the, the diesel pusher itself. Um, it's just nice to be able to show you all those controls at the front, um, but it's very, very quiet, even when you have those items on. Uh, but I love the doorbell here. That's a great feature. This does glow, so it's easy for you to find at home. And then you have these fully retracting steps that come out automatically. And as you can see, I can feel them in a lock position with my uh, wind guard covering here. So if it's raining and someone wants to come in, they can ring their doorbell and stand here and not be in the rain. Um, as of course, we talked earlier about um, the flexibility you have with a tag axle. One of the things that Numar does, which is so nice, is they put these beautiful Alcoa rims on this coach. So you're also going to get much quieter noise uh, going down the road. So it's going to be much, much quieter in your RV. You've got a dual fill 100 gallon fuel capacity here. Again, that is diesel. This bay here is pre-wired for your outdoor refrigerator and freezer that this would be a dometic space you could also put uh the truma in here truma also makes a nice outdoor freezer so you could choose either one they're both going to be on that same slide uh, but this is where the class a's really shine because of this coach being built on the star foundation Numar, when they buy this this chassis from freightliner takes their foundation and builds the star foundation on it and they actually raise the coach up off of the chassis rail giving you a much quieter uh, drive down the road but because of that even when you have these 1000 pound weight rated um, slides uh, or uh, cargo slides underneath the coach you still have a ton of usable space because this coach is elevated about nine inches off of that chassis rail so tons and tons of storage as you can see here this coach does have extra full porcelain tile underneath in case you need to have a tile replaced 
Um, but again, these are just such nice slides. And because of these pass-throughs, you can really keep all of the gear you need, even in this little 40 foot, 40 foot floor plan. Also on top of that, you've got another access point to open and close your awnings from the outside as well as the remote. So if you forgot the remote on the outside, you could still get to there. And then we talked about four televisions and two sound bars. Here's your other Bose sound bar and another 43 inch smart TV. There are two USB ports as well as a 110 outlet up front. And also you would be able to play the, I don't know, you want to like listen to the Giants or the 49ers or something, the, you know, the Broncos, you can play your sports out here on your sound bar. Um, and then as you can see here, this is the hose that you can use on the outside that attaches, attaches to your inner vac system from the outside. So if you want to vacuum off your dog, your husband, your children, any of those things, you could do that here. And then of course we've got the kick plate and then also the inner vac on the inside as well. So central vac is really, really handy. Um, when I was in San Diego, there was a lot of sand in my coach and everyone wanted to see my Numar. So I had to clean that coach every single morning. I just get up there and sweep it right into that little kick plate, super simple. Um, someone said earlier they hadn't figured out what to use this pegboard for. You could use this for tools. We also have some nice aluminum shelves we can put in here if you'd like to turn it into a bar station because there's not a better place to keep your mixers or your top shelf uh, stuff out here right next to your blender compartment and your ice and your, of course, your outdoor freezer. I mean, you could have, this could be the party central. Okay, we talked about these passive tag axles. So these six tires in the back are all gonna be 305. So you've got 305s the whole way around, which is kind of interesting. What does that benefit you? Well, if you have a flat up there, you've got an extra one back here, right? You could take one of those center wheels out to get you to wherever you needed to go. So that's kind of a cool feature. But the most important thing is if the center of this wheel to the center of that wheel is your turning radius. So when we talk about turning radiuses, this coach is literally 17 feet more tight in its turning radius than you would have in a standard uh, non-passive uh, tag axle. So because this real wheel has like an Audi where this isn't any, this is gonna be your drive going forward. Anything that has the Audi turns, which means this wheel as you're turning will also pivot as long as you're going under 20 miles an hour. The pin releases from the rotor and allows that wheel to pivot, giving you a fantastic turning radius. Um, now, here in this rear compartment, I know we talked about turning your house batteries off up front. This is how you would turn your chassis batteries off. This coach does have the extra house batteries uh, because it is an all electric coach. Here's that egress door here. Now you'll note here, we talked a little bit about uh, our hydronic system. This is where you would put your Oasis fluid. So this is a really nice aspect of this coach. It's very easily accessible. Um, in some of our coaches, like the Renegade, for instance, the Aqua Hot unit, you really have to have like almost like a turkey baster to fill it up and it takes quite a bit of time. This is a great feature that you've got a really easily accessible unit. And then, um, as you can see here, I know we talked about it uh, earlier, but this is the Remy Decor. Um, it was cool. I was like, what am I gonna wear today? Oh, I'm gonna wear black because Remy has got this beautiful sparkle black. This is a sparkle. It's got kind of a, a Prosecco and then like an, a nice alabaster white color to it. This is a really, really striking coach, beautiful coach. You've got your LED lights built in here in the back, of course, quicker illumination time. You also have, again, your seven pin connector. You've got brake sync. You have a 15,000 pound towing capacity. This is your rear radiator. On the Dutch Star, you'll find that that moves to the side and then you also will have an all tile floor. This coach has carpet if you're looking for all tile. Please note that you will have to move into that Dutch Star line, but we do have that available for you there. And then here in this rear compartment, you know, Numar is just so good at using all of the storage. If you wanted to put one of those big, um, one of those big uh, chairs that you have, you know, in the back. What do they call it, those recliner chairs? Oh, and a Rondack. Dang, even with the syllables, Jody, you're crushing it today. <laughs> I don't know what I would do without my mobile dictionary. All right, so this is a good place to keep um, both gloves so that when you're putting your deaf fluid in, it's not getting all over your hands because deaf fluid does stink. Uh, your deaf fluid fill is over here on this side. As you can see, we are pretty low on deaf. You will get a full tank of fuel and a full tank of deaf when you purchase your coach from us. And then the gloves, you can also keep, I have a gorilla hose. It's got two 10 foot hoses that you can connect for a 20 foot hose. I keep half of it in here, keep some gloves in here. 
And then you'll see you can actually keep the other half of it here in your wet bay because you've got plenty of room. So whole house water filter, outdoor shower with hot and cold. Uh, your water supply is on a power reel. Uh, you also have um, your rinse features are really easy to get to. You can turn your water pump on and off from the outside of the coach and then your black water hose just goes down through this little grommet, keeping your compartment nice and clean. And then of course giving you all that extra space for more stuff. So for instance, 50 foot power cord on a power reel, your cable inlet, your power, uh, your surge protector, everything's underneath. And you'll notice that they have these little LED lights in all of the bay capacities. So all of your bays are gonna have uh, illumination. And then here we have our Oasis. This is the dual loop Chinook system. This is a 50,000 BTU uh, heater. It also has an eight gallon reservoir in it for that, uh, for that Oasis fluid. And again, it's pumping in that dual loop. It's pumping that um, antifreeze throughout the coach underneath and it's giving you the ability to have that forced air as well as your heat pump. So you've got heated floors, forced air through your furnace, which is your Oasis system, also your tankless hot water heater. Um, and then you also have, um, so forced air, heat pumps and your heated floor. So really, really great ability to keep the coach nice and cool or nice and warm. Um, this is that slide through all the way through. Again, look at that nice LED strip. If you're getting to your campsite late at night and you don't know where something is, very easy to find things here underneath in this bay. And then your batteries are gonna be right here. And these are just nice six volt daisy chain batteries, very clean compartment, very easily accessible. They're on a tray. If you wanna change them out yourself, that will definitely save you a little bit of cash. Um, but so great setup here. And again, 800 amp hours of battery storage. For those of you that are curious about um, lithium, give me a call. There's certainly places where I think lithium is fantastic. And there's also places where I don't think lithium is something that you should uh, consider. It depends on how you're camping. So um, it's a pricey option with Numar, uh, with Renegade, with any of those manufacturers. And in some cases, it's really necessary on a coach with 800 amp hours and an eight kilowatt quiet diesel uh, generator, you really don't necessarily need it. It depends on how you're camping and whether or not uh, you're gonna stay somewhere where you need to be able to run your air conditioning track side. Um, on the Ventana level, it doesn't have a second inverter. So even if you did go to lithium, you wouldn't have the ability to run your air conditioner off of those batteries. Uh, so up here we have the other half of the brains we saw in the center bath where we had one of our control panels. This is the second house location. Your release right there for your generator. And then here underneath the, underneath the front of the coach, we have again that eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator your air horns, and again, this fantastic Freightliner chassis. In 2023, we also improved the quality of our headlights and made Mobileye standard. Again, we also have that optional 360 camera. This again is a Ventana. This is a 4068. This is stock number, uh-oh, it's not on there, Jody. It's not on there. This is stock number 5N220612. Again, 5N220612. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live from Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My number is 303-562-8659. Please let me know what I can do to get you out on the road and camping. And thank you for joining us on a Monday.